The Armory update has been out for over a week, but there's still a lot of people very confused about everything going on, and the market's definitely not easy to understand. Talking about the huge changes that Valve's brought in, there's a couple big ones. The first one's obviously going to be the fact that you don't have to wait seven days before you can resell or sell anything new on the market. Now, this was something we saw previously with brand new items, how you'd have to wait seven days before you could trade them. Now it applies to putting them on the market, and this also applies to anything you just bought off the market. You buy something, you have to wait seven days. Absolutely insane. Valve has also gone ahead and banned the exploiters for a whole year in terms of their trading abilities. Now, one of these people, as you can see in the back video here, is Tech Savvy. He's someone I reached out to, and he said they can still buy things on the market, but they're not able to sell anything, which is really interesting, but it obviously shows Valve's dedication to make sure the fact is they are going to get paid by these people unboxing cases. They just can't sell any of their items, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Finally, the last big thing is going to be the fact that it's super easy for you to go ahead and get these charmed attachments. They used to cost a dollar in the store, now you can actually get them as your weekly drop, which is absolutely insane, and therefore it means the charms, which we already thought were going to be pretty accessible to get removed, are absolutely flooded in the terms of these charmed attachments. There's so many of them, you don't have to pay 99 cents, you're getting them free. Skinland is today's sponsor, and they're giving you a $10 bonus with code MASTERSHINY just to try them out. They're my go-to selling spot with the highest rate for sellers, and it's super easy to use. They're going to be currently the best option, paying over 100% when you use that $10 bonus. They're super trusted when it comes to transactions, and it took me just about two minutes for me to get my over $200 from this Emerald German Gander. They've got tons of different payouts options, and they're also going to be having a super low fee buyer's marketplace. It's super easy, tons of deals cheaper than Steam, and tons of different deposit options. This deal won't last forever. Make sure you check them out today with that top link in the description. Now, looking at the Armory Shop, what is going to be the best way for you to go ahead and maximize the amount of profit that you're going to be able to get from the few credits you might have? Now, obviously, looking at the shop, there's a lot of different things. The biggest thing to realize is one credit is equal to 40 cents USD plus the time it took you to grind it out, and that's where we're going to be capitalizing off the value, because obviously, your time is worth something. Now, coming over to this, the gallery case is easily going to be number one. I think it's the strongest contender for making you the most amount of solid profit guaranteed because obviously you know what you're going to be getting and at the end of the day people are always going to be wanting to unbox this case. However, the area I really have my eyes on are the elemental craft stickers. Now I don't necessarily know if it's going to be the best way for you to put your credits into it because it costs 40 cents USD per roll and it obviously is a random chance but when we talk about it there's a lot of stickers inside of this area that are really strong in their craft potential. If you want to look at Riptide, one of the best ways for you to go ahead and maximize profit there was investing into a lot of stickers. A lot of stickers were super cheap and then they absolutely ballooned up. For something to go to five cents to a dollar, that's a 20x in price. You're not going to be finding that with skins. You're not going to be finding that anywhere else. It's buying in at a super cheap price point and maximizing that. Same goes for skins and charms. I'm not necessarily buying these just yet and I definitely would not recommend spending your stars on them, but if you can get in at a cheap enough price point, there is the potential there that they could balloon up in price. If you get into a lot of different things at a lot of small price points, I think you're going to be sitting in a very significant situation situation. Keep it on the theme of most important things to know, if you're trying to grind out the past, it's going to be one of two ways. First up, the definitely most optimal way is going to be grinding out in casual, finding a bunch of people with P90s that are just constantly rushing. It's going to be super quick, take you about 10 minutes, and you're going to get about three-fourths of a credit. Otherwise, hopping into a deathmatch game is going to be the second best way, but I would highly recommend a casual game. It's a lot more laid back, and honestly, I find it a little bit more fun. Now, talking about my case market, because if you know me, I'm never going to miss an opportunity to talk about the case market. It is definitely in a pretty similar situation to what we talked about previously. The cases are on a little bit of an uptrend, and we've mostly recovered from that dip we were talking about just a couple days ago, which is absolutely insane. But when I look at the unboxing numbers, the gallery case has finally started to hit the database, and it's definitely not even close to any other case that we're talking about in the active duty, which makes sense because it's a very hard case to obtain. Talking about the majority of these cheaper rare cases, I think they're in a very strong position. A lot of them are still showing extremely high unbox demand, and it doesn't seem like, for the most part, the gallery case is really impeding on these, which is absolutely perfect. I definitely think this is going to be something that we're going to have to watch moving forward because we don't want the gallery case to take away too much from the market, but I don't think that's going to be really the case. If we want to look at the unboxing numbers, look at the solid growth we've seen from the cheaper rare cases. Overall, the supply is draining quick enough that I don't think the gallery case is really going to be too much of an issue moving forward. As for an active duty cases, they're definitely not fully recovered to the price because we were seeing before the armory update, but I don't think they're really going to get too much higher than what they're currently sitting at for the most part, and they're sitting at a really solid price point in my personal opinion. And to go along with that, we're also seeing very solid unboxing numbers from them as well, making up over 75%, which is a really crazy crazy number when you include the Anubis package. Now talking about my armory investments, I'm definitely going to be making a significant amount of investments. The biggest areas I'm definitely going to be looking at, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be the elemental craft stickers. I'm also going to be looking at some of the character craft stickers. I think the character craft stickers are also going to be in super low supply for the most part, because I honestly don't know who is preferring them over the elemental craft. Therefore, just because there's so many stickers inside of this area, I definitely think a fair amount of them could go really underdeveloped and have a super cheap price point, but we're going to have to wait and see on that. Obviously, the biggest area is going to be the skins. We've got three brand new collections, 
operations that theoretically probably aren't going to return based off what we've seen for previous operations. Nonetheless, there is a lot of differences here. First up is going to be in the odds. Now, when we're talking about previous operations, we invested into the gray skins and we made massive, massive profit off of them, but there's a very big difference here. These skins are light blue or better. Obviously, the odds are on screen right now. The odds to get a red are less than one in a thousand. It's actually not too uncommon, but the biggest thing is gray skins were super cheap. They offered a super cheap, easy entry, and therefore so many people could get into them as an investment, but also they had a very easy price point moving forward. Now, that's not the case here. These light blue skins are going to be significantly more expensive. This is because you can't buy the credit straight up, which is obviously reducing the supply significantly, and the fact is the gray skins were just so much more common, and they didn't have too much really trade-up input, and they were able to be listed at a cheaper price point. We don't know exactly what price point these light blue skins are going to level out at, but it's definitely going to be more expensive than the grays we saw previously, which is not great for an investment purpose, because we're trying to get the cheapest price point possible for these skins. Now, as with any major update that drastically impacts the market, a lot of people are looking at a lot of different items and believing that they're still not going to be fully recovered, and I want to look at a couple different things. First up, we want to talk about the agent market. It's going to go in absolutely crazy, and I don't think it's necessarily going to slow down too much, just because obviously the armory didn't introduce any new agents. If we want to talk about the skins market, a lot of them have fallen down a bit over the past couple of weeks. They're going to fully recover. If we want to look at the case market in Riptide, it took four months to recover here. It did it in less than a week. Overall, the demand for nearly everything inside of this game has gone absolutely drastically wild, and I don't think that the armory is going to just have a long-term impact on a lot of these things. A lot of them are almost back to the price points they were sitting at beforehand, and anything that's not, especially something that you really want, might be a perfect opportunity for you to jump on this and go ahead and get those items, because honestly, I don't think anything is going to be staying down in price significantly long. If we want to look at the player numbers, we're going absolutely crazy, and overall, the market is on a really strong trajectory in the current moment. Now, a lot of people have been overly concerned about the current situation. Should they be selling off? Because their items have dropped down in price, and I think that would be a really silly move in a lot of different circumstances. There's a couple circumstances where it does make sense, though, so stick around. First one, if you've got any cases, capsules, consumable items, I think for the most part, you should not be selling these off. They've remained relatively unchanged because of this update, and actually, they're probably going to have a really strong period once they get back to that point of recovery. After a point of recovery, we usually see a long period of growth for these consumable items. I think it's a really bad move to sell. The only one where it kind of makes sense is if you've got an investment you are already on the edge about. Say you've already made your profit, and it's starting to a price point now where you think it's a lot more worthwhile to sell, I definitely don't think it's a bad idea to go ahead and get that money back, especially with the current market. It's a very useful thing to have some cash on hand. It is going to be very beneficial. Now, what am I doing right now? The first thing is I'm grinding out my past. I think it's going to be a fun, useful thing for everyone to have these stars, especially considering they are going to be worth something. Otherwise, I'm really focused in on all of these items hitting the market. Obviously, we don't know the exact price point that they're going to settle at, but I think it's a very useful endeavor for you to go ahead and check these out. There's a lot of profit to be made, especially in the first couple of months of an operation, or obviously the armory here, and there's a lot of profit opportunity. That's all I got. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.